Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we will do a full comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Note 10 was released in August 2019, while the S20 released in March 2020, and of course, it does have some new features catapulting its desirability to the highest levels. So naturally, people are asking the questions. Which one is the better smartphone? If I'm in the market to buy the S20 or the Note 10, which one do I choose? And the especially common question, if I own the Note 10 Plus, do I upgrade to the S20 Ultra? So in this video, I will answer those questions directly by doing a full and complete comparison of every aspect of these smartphones. And of course, in the end, we will tie everything together in a conclusion to give you precise answers. So let's dive right in and start by taking a look at the build and design. Both of these smartphones follow a similar build. They use Gorilla Glass 6 for the front display and the back panel, while an aluminum band secures the edges. It's a tried and true formula, and the final result is a solid build and a million dollar in hand feel. Now, when it comes to the actual design, we have some minor differences on the front. Both phones have a large and tall display that dominate the front. However, the Note 10 has its signature boxy design compared to the Galaxy S20's curvy corners. In a few minutes, I'll play videos on both smartphones to give you a side-by-side -side experience on how movies and games will look and feel on either smartphone, but let me quickly talk about some other features. Both smartphones are IP68 grade water resistant, which means they can easily withstand water splashes, rain, and dust, and that's just fantastic. They both have stereo speakers, including Dolby Atmos sound. As a result, both phones will produce loud and rich sound which is great for watching videos, playing games, or listening to music without headphones. And of course, neither smartphone offers a headphone jack. So as you can see so far, we both have equally valuable smartphones built with quality, designed expertly. Now let's move on and talk about the processor, memory, and storage. The Galaxy Note 10 sports a Snapdragon 855 processor, offers 12 gigabytes of base RAM, with 256 gigabytes of base storage. The S20 has a Snapdragon 865 processor as well and offers 12 gigabytes of RAM standard when you get the 128 gigabyte storage model. Both smartphones also offer microSD expansion to add even more storage if required, an option that still stands to please a lot of people. The S20 is 5G compatible while the Note 10 is not. Now, because the Galaxy S20 sports a newer processor, it yields better results when it comes to benchmarks. Of course, both phones perform handsomely, but the S20 definitely has a lead in terms of raw horsepower, as you can see. But make no mistake, the Note 10 is just as smooth and snappy as the S20 for day-to-day -day operations, gaming, and such. So the S20 takes a lead in this category, though it is important to note that the Note 10 offers higher base storage twice as much as the S20. Now let's move on and talk about the dimensions. So you can see the dimensions and it's not a very important category to make a decision between the two. However, the Note 10 does offer a slimmer and a lighter profile overall. So let's move on to something much more important, the display. The Note 10 has a gorgeous dynamic AMOLED 6.8 inch display with a resolution of 3040 by 1440 and 498 pixels per inches. It also supports HDR10+. The S20 also has a gorgeous dynamic AMOLED 6.9 inch display with a resolution of 3200 by 1440 and 525 pixels per inches. And of course, it does support HDR10+. When it comes to the quality of these displays, they both offer a top-notch display experience. Just look at how crisp and clear they are. Peak brightness on both smartphones is impressive and easy to see in daylight. They both have a punch hole cutout on the top center. Now the S20 does have a new feature which gives it a lead. S20 now offers 120 Hertz refresh rate on the display which makes animations and motion feel silky smooth. As you navigate on your S20, launch apps, scroll, some people will feel an extra layer of smoothness which feels more polished than 60 Hertz displays. However, it's not a huge deal unless you're specifically interested in this feature. Now let's move on and talk about the software. Both smartphones run on the latest version of Android with the new One UI overlay. So essentially the software experience is going to be identical on both smartphones, 
Both have the new and cool night mode, which gives you a dark, easy on the eyes themes. Both have the latest Android features. Both have all the Samsung specific perks like the customizable edge panels that offer a bunch of very useful side screen widgets such as calculators, compass, weather, and much more. However, the Note 10 does have a hidden weapon that the S20 simply cannot replicate, and that is the S Pen. S Pen is a multifunctional tool that brings a new dimension of functionality to the Note 10. It allows for precision writing, precision sketching, and precision drawing if you so desire. You can create masterpieces if you have the skill and patience right on your Note 10. You can also navigate your smartphone with the S Pen, which is cool. And of course, you get access to special air command menus that give you additional software features not present on any other smartphone, let alone the S20. The S Pen is going to play a major role in whether or not a Note 10 owner should upgrade to the S20 or not. We will tie this up in the conclusion, but let's quickly talk about the camera. Both smartphones offer four cameras with the same lens diversity, but different specifications. So here's what we have on the rear. Both smartphones have a standard wide, super wide, and a telephoto camera. They both also have a 3D depth vision camera, which produces on-demand background blur effect in portray shots and videos. However, the S20 has seen a significant upgrade on paper. Note 10 has a 12 megapixel standard wide camera, while the S20 has a 108 megapixel standard wide camera. Note 10 has a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with 10 times hybrid zoom, while the S20 has a 48 megapixel telephoto camera with 100 times hybrid zoom. And finally, the Note 10 has a 16 megapixel super wide camera, while the S20 has a 12 megapixel super wide camera. For the average consumer, the standard main camera on both smartphones produce excellent results, but the S20 gets a lead in overall clarity and sharpness due to its larger sensor and higher megapixels. When it comes to the telephoto camera, the benefit is obvious. With the S20, you can zoom all the way to 100 times. So if that is a functionality you're looking for, it's there, but it's not a huge deal and doesn't really yield crystal clear final images. But the 30 times is, is pretty useful and clear. Note 10 is limited to 10 times. As for video, S20 has one slight advantage that it can record in 8K and 30 frames per second, but otherwise, both phones record and produce excellent video with superb stabilization. So a quick summary, both cameras are flagship level cameras that produce excellent images and video. S20 has more extreme options such as a 100 times zoom and 8K video recording, but you simply have to ask yourself, when was the last time you even zoomed in 10 times or desired to record in 8K? For the average consumer, both phones will be excellent for photo or video. For those that want the latest, no matter what, you have to look at the S20. The Note 10 Plus has a 4300 milliamp hour battery capacity, while the S20 has a battery capacity of 5000 milliamp hours. Interestingly, both phones have a similar overall battery life. They both also support super fast wired and wireless charging, and they both support ultra fast 45 watt wired charging as well. Both phones offer the wireless power share feature, which will allow you to charge other wireless charging enabled devices on the back of your Note or the S smartphone. So in this category, we have a draw, nothing special going on here. Let's move on to biometrics. Both the Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Plus offer the same exact biometric options, which is the in-display fingerprint sensor. It works fast and flawlessly and they both use ultrasonic 3D sensors for maximum security. You can also face unlock on either smartphone, but it's not as secure as the fingerprint sensor, but it's still an available option. So the pricing is that S20 Plus officially starts at $1,400, while the Note 10 starts at $1,100, so we have a significant price difference. Now let's tie everything together and draw a conclusion. All right, so how do we draw a conclusion? Which phone is better? Do you upgrade? Let's quickly list all the advantages of the Galaxy S20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. It has a newer camera with some notable capabilities. It has a 120 Hertz refresh rate display. It also naturally has a faster processor and is 5G capable. 
of these four advantages, only two are prominent, the camera and the 120 hertz. The other two, in my opinion, are not that big of a deal. On the flip side, the Note 10 has an S Pen that S20 can't replicate. So looking at these metrics, yes, the S20 is the better phone, but the advantages it has doesn't actually merit an upgrade from a capable phone like the Note 10. And it doesn't give you the S Pen that many Note owners want. So look, if you choose the S20, you simply have to ask yourself, do I want the new camera? Do I need 30 times or 100 times zoom? And do I absolutely need 120 hertz refresh rate? If you answer yes to those questions with conviction, then you get the S20. Otherwise, Note 10 is where you stay and wait for the Note 20 with the S Pen. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know which phone you chose and why. Did you upgrade? And of course, for now, guys, have a fantastic day. Drop those comments down below and let me know. All right. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.